thank you, Larry, for joining um, today. Um, it's very exciting to see Spire uh, kind of turning turning a corner, and it's a gorgeous building um, right there, you know, off of Denny and Sixth. And um, you know, obviously, with last year uh, COVID, it seemed like you know construction just was trucking right along all year, and probably was the best construction condition um, you know, to be building a building like that downtown because there literally was hardly any distractions or issues with traffic and you know deal with people on the street so um you know i i think at this point you know it's kind of rebooting and you guys are coming on to start marketing it um and um are relaunching sales um pricing and so I wanted to just again have you on here to speak about the project itself and um yeah i've always loved working with you and having you on the project i was like yay larry <laughs> <laughs> So um, why don't you want to just go ahead and take it from here and, and kind of tell us a little bit more about Spire. Absolutely, would love that. Um, hi everyone, and um, thanks so much for having me. We are really, really excited to be able to share uh, what, we, what we've got going here over at Spire uh, here in Seattle. Um, so I'll just get right into it and welcome to Spire. Um, I, think, I think this is an incredible photo to get us started. Um, first of all, it's a first, first time seeing photo. This is a photo from our construction team. It was just taken in February, um, showing you um, everything that I think you need to see. The gorgeousness of our building, its proximity to the Space Needle, the incredible views out to the Sound in the Olympic Mountains. Uh, I think this picture uh, fits that statement. Uh, a picture tells a thousand words, or is that how it goes? Something like that. <laughs> a picture's worth a thousand words. Um, and I think this picture does exactly that. So um, at this point, Spire is full steam ahead. Uh, our construction crews are working tirelessly to complete the building. Um, like Ashley mentioned, we, uh, even through COVID and, and everything that's been kind of so insane in 2020, this building has moved right along. We are getting really close to completion. And you know, I think oftentimes in new construction, you're, you know, you've got a large project, you're, you're doing your best to give estimates and, and give people timelines, but it's a massive undertaking and trying to, to estimate a completion is not an easy task when you're talking about 440 feet of tower. Um, and PCL, our construction contractor is fantastic. And with everything considered, we are only slightly behind schedule from our original target. Uh, we're looking forward to starting to move people into the building uh, sometime this summer. So I think originally two and a half plus years ago, they were estimating this spring. We've bumped it back just a little bit to summer. And like I said, I think with COVID and everything else we've gone through, uh, it's a pretty incredible feat uh, to be getting this building done and delivering virtually on time. At this point, in terms of construction, um, PCL is in the process of installing finishes uh, into our upper three or four floors of homes. Uh, penthouses are starting to get their finishes. Uh, the amenity spaces are all getting finished up. Um, and I'm excited to share some hard hat photos I took uh, when I was in the building last week to kind of give you guys a sneak peek of what's going on inside the building too. So this is just a little uh, digitized graphic showing our 40th floor terrace and giving you an idea of some of the views. Um, I think Spire definitely has a lot of wow factor in terms of both the aesthetic of the building itself as well as all of the outlooks that it looks onto, um, as well as our amenity spaces. I mentioned earlier, we're, we're targeting move-ins this summer. Um, the building is uh, right around a third pre-sold at this point. Uh, so moving right along in terms of sales, we're really pleased with that. Um, and then just to give you an idea of kind of where we're starting in terms of prices, uh, Spire has one bedroom, uh, one bedroom den, two bedroom and three bedroom style homes. Um, our one bedrooms are starting right around 500,000 uh, and go up uh, to a bit over a million, depending on the floor, the floor plan. We have multiple one bedroom styles and sizes. Um, my one bedroom dens are starting right around 790,000. Nice. Uh, my two bedroom, two baths, uh, we have several different floor plans of those and those start right around 1.1. And then my three bedrooms, which are up near the penthouse level, those are gonna start right around 3.3 million. Uh, so wonderful pricing. Uh, should mention that as a part of this relaunch at the beginning of the year, uh, my team uh, just took over the project. We're really excited to be here, uh, part of the Polaris Pacific uh, team. And 
we worked on a building reprice. So um, some of you astute real estate watchers may have already noticed by seeing things come up through our MLS listings. Uh, but we did come in, we looked at the building, we looked at sales, uh, we looked at COVID and, and what that's done to uh, downtown and condominium living. Uh, and we repriced the building and we're really excited to, to see things moving along. Um, We've had, uh, let's see, gosh, in February, we've had a good handful of offers already made as we've worked on this relaunch. We're really excited to see the momentum coming uh, and we'd love to see you all come by too. So. Nice, and how are, yes. you doing, how are you guys doing tours? So currently we are working out of our sales gallery. Uh, it's located on Fifth Avenue between Bell and Blanchard. Uh, to follow COVID protocols, we are working by appointment only. Um, but we are happy to set aside time to bring you into the sales center, um, show you what we've got here. Um, our presentation center has a full scale two bedroom model, which you're actually seeing right behind me. I'm sitting in it. Um, it's a gorgeous two bedroom model, getting to see an idea of what some of the views are on the upper floors out the windows. Uh, we also have the ability to, to show you some views and I will do that as well in this presentation, but uh, we can get an idea of views from any direction and virtually any floor. Uh, we have information on our model, or I mean, on our amenities. Uh, we have a wonderful building map for, especially for people who are uh, new to Seattle or relocating to Seattle to really give you a sense of where Spire sits in relation to everything in Seattle. Um, I think probably one of the most impactful parts of that for me is this wonderful five minute, 10 minute and 15 minute walk radiuses that we have go around our map. Uh, to show you truly how convenient all of downtown Seattle, South Lake Union, Queen Anne, Waterfront is all within a 15 minute walk of Spire. So it really couldn't be in a better location. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. And I think it's a location too that is, um, you know, growing and there's a lot more uh, restaurants and, you know, little like the shops and stuff that'll be coming to the area too. And then yeah, in fact, block. Oh. I actually even wonder, uh, you know, I've, I've been in Seattle oh, 20 plus years at this point, and it's been fun to watch the growth. And I'm, I'm really curious to see if this, what I'm gonna call a mini neighborhood kind of creates its own name at some point and becomes a subset of Belltown with its own name, similar to, you know, in the central district, you've got neighborhoods like Squire Park and you've got different areas within Capitol Hill, like the Pike Pine. There's so much growth happening right along 6th Avenue, Denny, um, with Insignia already built, Inspire here, and, and additional plan buildings, I, I feel like this neighborhood is really going to take on a personality of its own, and I think it's going to be really exciting. Yep, I 100% agree with that. So I think, you know, next uh, is going to be pretty exciting. Just give you guys something that nobody else has gotten, and that's some sneak peeks. Uh, with Spire getting so close to completion, I thought uh, everybody would enjoy just seeing a few construction shots from when I was in the building back on February 9th. Uh, so we'll just kind of work through these. I'll tell you a little bit about what we're seeing. Uh, this is actually a video that I took on the rooftop. And I think uh, it does, one, it shows a great job of how far we've come with construction. And two, just to really hit home what these views are in this building. I, I think people are going to be incredibly surprised when they get in the building for the first time and really realize what the view outlook is from Spire and how much of it is protected. Um, the whole northern side of our building is a triangular shaped building and the whole north face is against Denny Way. And what that ultimately means from a view perspective is we've got about as protected of a view to the north as you can get unless the city changes height restrictions and zoning. Uh, and that's because the Space Needle is basically across the street and the city does a lot to really protect that iconic piece of Seattle architecture so that it is in any viewpoint and any picture that someone's going to take that includes downtown, the Space Needle needs to be in that picture. And Seattle works really hard to make that happen. So across the street, you can only build 85 feet tall. We're a building that's 440 foot tall. Um, that equates to a whole lot of homes with a whole lot of incredible views. Uh, so we're really excited to share that with people. What you were seeing there was some work on the 40th floor terrace. Uh, it spans from the east side to the west side of the building, all the way down the north part of Spire. So it's a really expansive deck. And we'll talk a little more about amenities as we go. Um, this is a picture I took out of one of our two bedrooms on an upper floor. Um, this is what we call the E as an Edward plan. Um, it sits on the northeast corner. So if you're familiar with Spire, you kind of notice that it's a triangle. There's one side that has these beautiful rounded windows. And that's exactly what you're looking out of right here. 
Um, so this is just a little shy of the 1200 square foot two bedroom plan uh, with some really incredible views and a really unique layout with uh, some beautiful windows. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about features with Spire as well, but definitely a unique feature to this building in relation to what you'll see in a lot of other new construction to date is what we call our vision glass. Uh, and if you've been in any other new construction buildings that have completed, you know, just in the last couple of years, whether um, rental or condo, uh, codes in Washington changed a bit a few years ago, and it is impossible now to do what Spire has done with vision glass and getting this amount of panorama glass with no breaks in it whatsoever with any sort of wall. You can't do that and meet energy code anymore. Uh, so this building really has something special in the fact that you can have this panoramic, nothing but glass view looking out of your home. Uh, and I think people are going to appreciate that a lot. Yeah. Um, here's a picture of that same home, uh, getting an idea of their kitchen. So basically all I did when I took this picture is I went from, I turned 90 degrees to the right from that view shot and here's the kitchen. So if you're standing at that sink, you're getting nothing but that view. Um, this is to give you an idea of a one bedroom home that's also on the north side. Um, this is what we call the D, D as in dog plan, um, about 780-ish square foot one bedroom plan. Um, and what I wanted to show you was the two viewpoints from the home. So if you're looking directly out the windows over the balcony, you're seeing this incredible Lake Union view. But depending on how you have your furniture set up, chances are you're going to be placed against a wall. So if you happen to have your couch against a wall, um, you're getting a pretty incredible view of that space needle at your windows as well. Uh, and I just think that that's always a, point, a fun thing to look at because uh, when people go in to look at homes, I think they always look directly out the windows, what's straight, but do we live where we're always pointed straight out our windows? Not always. So what do you look at from an angle too? Uh, and this shows you that that space needle is ever present in Spire's view. Yeah. Um, so next up, this is actually a hard hat picture from one of the penthouses as they're starting to put in some finishes. Uh, so you're getting an idea of that west facing or southwest actually based on our location, view out to the sound. Um, you're looking out at Alki um, in the distance as well. Oh, that's amazing. It's a crazy views. Yes. And then this one I'm also excited to talk about because this one is one that we all get to share. You don't have to spend $3.8 million to have it for yourself. You can be up in the fitness center uh, right here on the 41st floor. Uh, this is Southwest facing. This is where our free weights and machines are gonna be located. So you can get yourself a pretty incredible workout and look out at the sound at the same time. Um, or if you wanna do cardio, uh, you just move around to the other side of the 41st floor because the entire 41st floor is nothing but fitness center and our North facing is the cardio deck. So on a treadmill, on a rower, on a bike, uh, rowing your way towards Lake Union. <laughs> so I figured next we can talk a little bit about the building itself. Another little rendering of Spire and its relation to the Space Needle. Here's another view of that with the daytime. It really is just a gorgeous, gorgeous building. I really like uh, the white rectangle that uh, runs up all three sides of the building. Uh, I currently live in West Seattle and Spire stands out from all of the other buildings when you're looking back at downtown because of that incredibly beautiful white rectangle that spans the building. Um, so Ashley talked about it a little bit, but I think one of the unique features for Spire is its location. Uh, officially we're in Belltown, so we gain the benefit of this wonderful high rise construction, but cross Denny Way and we're not in Belltown anymore. Uh, you've got Lower Queen Anne right at your doorstep, and you've got South Lake Union right at your doorstep. So we're really at the intersection of three incredible neighborhoods that all have their own kind of voice and their own style. And you get to really choose what you want to be a part of uh, from day to day. Uh, and all of those neighborhoods are at your doorstep to enjoy. Um, Spire has a total of 343 homes. Um, our residences run up through the 39th floor. They actually start on the fourth floor. So I think that's also a nice feature is the lowest floor you can live on Spire is four stories off the ground. Um, our first three floors are amenity, lobby space, storage, and things like that. So residences on four up through 39. Um, and then our top two floors, 40 and 41, are amenity floors. So everybody gets to share those top two floors. 
We've got nine levels of underground parking. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about Spire's unique parking system, uh, a first for Seattle that we're really excited to share. Uh, but Spire is really lucky in the fact that we've got a nice selection of parking available. Um, some of our homes have parking included in the price already. Um, some homes have an option to be able to purchase it. Uh, and some of our smaller one bedrooms don't have an option to purchase currently, but we still have a really wonderful ratio where a good majority of the people in this building can have parking if they, if they need it or want it. Um, and we mentioned also the, the, the fact that Spire is a triangular building. So it, it just creates a unique look. It creates a little different feel inside the building too from your typical square or rectangular shaped building. Um, I, like to, I like to think of one of my favorite buildings in New York, which is the Flatiron Building and, and think of this as being a, a newer, more modern, taller version of that. <laughs> Yeah, it is a gorgeous building. I mean, you you do, like you said, you could see it from everywhere, right? And it stands out, um, you know, and it's farther away from the other towers like the Amazon buildings and, and insignia that are just really has kind of its own like presence. And mm -hmm. it's so shocking that the footprint is so small of the actual building, um, but yet, you know, you're going up 41 stories. So it's, it's a pretty, I think it's an iconic um, building um, to our skyline for sure. I agree. I think... I think uh, Seattle, and I think especially historically, um, has been known for a lot of buildings that look the same, feel the same. Uh, and I really only think in this more recent build cycle in the last three or four years, we've finally seen some developers step forward and want to create some really unique and beautiful aesthetic buildings from the outside, not just from the inside, um, to add to Seattle's skyline. And I think Spire does a great job of that. Yep, I agree. So here is a wonderful streetscape view of Spire. Um, you are basically looking down 6th Avenue um, and the cross street you're looking at is Wall. So behind the building would be Denny Way. The building has two retail spaces, commercial spaces, and those are both located on the Denny side. Uh, so there'll be one that can enter from the Northwest side and one that's gonna be entered from the Northeast side on Denny. And then our lobby entrance is on 6th Avenue. Uh, so you'll enter the building as a resident on 6th Avenue. And then our parking, because of the unique shape of the building, we actually have a parking entrance and a parking exit that are different. Uh, so you enter the building on 6th, you exit the building on Wall. Um, and something you might not necessarily think about, but a really nice added benefit to that is that was designed so you're never crossing traffic trying to get in or out of the garage. You're pulling into six on a one way, you're pulling into the garage from six on a one way street and you're pulling out onto wall on a one way street. So let's get to what we've been talking about a lot, which is really something that sets Spire apart. And that's how incredible these views are. So I just took um, from our app that we use here in the sales center during an appointment to give you an idea of views. I just took in and fused some panoramics to give you an idea based on a few different floors. So this is floor 38. Um, which would be uh, one level below penthouse. Uh, so it really gives you an idea as well of what those top floor amenities are gonna feel like in the views. So this is your Northern view with Space Needle, Lake Union. Uh, it's a little hazy, so you don't see Mount Baker, but you know, for those of us that look North, our version of Mount Rainier. Um, and follow that around, you know, you see the Space Needle now to the right. Here is your view to the West and Southwest, just expansive, expansive Olympics and sound views. Uh, that are really, really incredible. Uh, but I think the thing that's going to surprise you most is sure, top floor has wonderful views. What happens when you move down? Well, here's 30. Um, I didn't do the full panoramic on this one, but it certainly gives you an idea. Full Lake Union still, full Space Needle, amazing amounts of sound uh, dropping down to 30. 20, still full views of Lake Union, full views of the Space Needle, sound views. Uh, you know, we're now halfway down the building and you're still getting incredible views. Uh, you know, I've, I've got a long history of selling new construction around Seattle and I can't say that I've ever sold a building where I can tell people that they can buy halfway up the building and have these kinds of views. It yeah. just generally doesn't happen. Uh, so really excited about that. And now let's really get down there. Here's the 10th floor. That's only a handful of floors above our lowest residential floor. You're still getting a full Space Needle view out of the north view on that home. And a lot um, of it's open air space. I mean, it's not yes. like staring into other buildings at all. And yeah, that's 
amazing. And then this gives you an idea of looking to the Northeast. So if you look uh, to the left-hand side of the photo, you can see just a little teeny blue line of water. That's Lake Union. Uh, by no means am I saying the 10th floor has a Lake Union view, but just to put it in perspective to what we were looking at previously. Uh, and then you're, the street you're seeing kind of running right up the center of the photo, that's Denny Way. Uh, and you're kind of seeing all the construction that's happening right around the West Lake area um, running up Denny, uh, which also makes a, a point of how close Whole Foods is to this yeah. building. <laughs> <laughs> So now let's move into a little bit about the amenities. I think Spire has some of the best amenity package or has one of the best amenity packages of most of the new construction that's come out of the ground recently. Um, I'm really excited about the fact that it's three full floors of the building are dedicated to nothing but amenities to be shared by everybody, uh, including the top two floors. So, you know, the place where a developer can make its biggest profit margins on view corridors, they're not selling. They're letting everybody in the building share them. And I think that that's really says a lot about a building when they're willing to give up profits in favor of shared spaces. And that's exactly what Spire did. So here's another little quick digital video of part of that rooftop terrace that I showed you earlier with my hard hat view. Um, we, this started basically on the east portion of the terrace. Uh, so you see some barbecues and there's going to be a fire pit up there. There's an indoor outdoor fireplace that runs from the Spire Club inside on 40 to the terrace outside on 40. But uh, just to kind of list some of the amenities we've got in the building. Uh, first floor lobby area, we're going to have something that I think is unique to a condo building here in Seattle, and that is an on-site coffee and pastry cafe inside our lobby. It's not a retail space. It's going to house, in, it's going to be housed in a section of our lobby, uh, available to our homeowners to stop by uh, as they wish in and out of the building. Uh, it's also then obviously open for others to walk in uh, to be able to get coffee and things as well. But we're really excited to offer that. Uh, we're working on the final details of who's going to be offering this service. And the developer has been working really hard to make sure that it's a local um, local coffee purveyor and uh and hopefully we'll have an announcement soon of who, who's going to be uh manning that spot for us in the lobby great um and i already mentioned the entire 41st floor is fitness center so that's an incredible amenity i also mentioned free weights and machines not all buildings tend to have those in a fitness center uh, so excited to really have a full gym uh, in this building along with that we also have what we call the movement studio and that's down on the third floor another space hardwood floors um, perfect for Pilates or yoga. Uh, we're also going to have a digital trainer program down there so that you'll be able to run um, classes out of that room if you'd like uh, with digital training programs. Um, also up on 41, we have what is called the hydrant, which is our pet area. Um, I point that out because I also think that our pet area is unique. Uh, in the buildings I've sold over the years, there have been a lot that have said we have doggy amenities. And when they talk about their dog pet area, uh, what is it, a, a four by six patch of fake grass inside a little fenced area, yeah. and that's your dog park. Um, the hydrant is different. It is, one, larger, but two, it's an actual terrace. There are tables and chairs and spaces that our homeowners who have pets can actually sit down and relax while their dog runs around a little bit, uh, socialize with homeowners, and, and let your dog play with some other dogs uh, on its own little private terrace area up on 41. So I think that's a really nice feature. Um, along with the pet uh, dog bath down at ground level. Uh, and I'm always a fan of the ground level dog baths because it means a few things. One, it means your common areas stay a lot cleaner uh, because you don't have all the homeowners with dogs, myself included, walking their wet, muddy dogs through lobbies and hallways. Uh, it also means that your house doesn't have to get as dirty and your tub doesn't have to clog with dog hair. <laughs> um, along with that, uh, 40, 40th floor is what we call the Spire Club. Entire floor, um, has three different lounge spaces along with the terrace that you're looking at right now. Um, and a second terrace on the south side of the building with more barbecues attached to one of the other lounges. So again, you have multiple places to spread out both inside and outside on 40, all reservable spaces for private functions if you'd like. Um, and then also on the third floor, we have a movie room and another really nice feature um, that's was planned pre-COVID and just kind of falls perfectly into uh, post-COVID. And that is a really wonderful, large co-working space on the third floor. 
uh, for people who work from home. Uh, so you now have some additional space in the building you can spread out in. Uh, there'll be a conference room space in there along with another small office if you need to do video conferencing or phone calls and need a little private space. And then of course, bicycle storage, um, our automated ballet that I talked about are some other wonderful amenities. But here's the Southern Terrace I was mentioning with more barbecues. Uh, so this is on the other side of 40. There's the fireplace that runs from inside to outside on the Spire Club level. This is one picture of, the of one of the spaces of the Spire Club. Uh, and I think something that's really exciting uh, here is that the developer at Spire has contracted with a local artist. Uh, the artist's name is Sam Stubblefield. And Sam has curated um, private art for the entire Spire Club area, as well as uh, a standout special piece that's going to be hung in the lobby behind the concierge desk. Uh, so we're really excited to introduce Sam uh, as a part of this building and, and hopefully soon in, a, in maybe a future um, e-blast or something like that, we'll be able to, to give you a little more information about Sam and, and, uh, and his art. So it's going to be a nice feature for the Spire Club. Nice. Uh, here's a rendering of the co-working space that I was telling you about. So just really wonderful, light and bright, airy space on the third floor uh, to be able to spread out at, and use as a workspace. And then here's our lobby. Um, so we are actually looking through the cafe. You can see the counter off to the right for our private curated coffee and pastry area. Um, concierge desk off to the right. And you can kind of see, it's not the actual art, but showing where the large scale piece from Sam Stubblefield will be hung behind the concierge desk. So now we are on to parking. So I'm just gonna let this video play in the background. For any of you that have actually been through Spire, uh, through our gallery, you've probably seen this video already, but a unique feature to this building is what we call our automated ballet system. And you're getting to witness it here, but we have three portals that you will be directed to in our garage uh, that you pull into. And ultimately, the system will park your car for you. Um, so you see here, it's got similar to a car wash directions to make sure that you are lined up on the track appropriately. Uh, you get out of your car, you move out of the portal. Uh, there's a little screen out there that you'll punch in some codes, ultimately closes the door, and it's going to take your car away. Um, this is a really, really popular system in Europe. Uh, it's a Swiss company. Uh, it's got a long history, but it's the first time it's coming to Seattle, and we're really, really excited about it. Um, just a couple of little details to get you excited. If you have more questions, certainly let us know. We're happy to get you more details. But um, typical question, how long does it take when I'm pulling into the garage before I'm walking away from my car? And that is estimated at three minutes. And how long is it going to take for my car to be recalled from its parking space so that I can leave the building? And they estimate that at four and a half minutes. So when you think back to the fact that we've got nine levels of garage, uh, think through maybe some other buildings you've maybe lived in downtown with lots of garage space. And how long does it take you to circle the garage to get down to your space on the seventh or eighth floor and then wait for an elevator to get into the building? These times are minimal and probably comparable to if you were self-parking in a garage of this size. Uh, so your time spent is minimal and probably equal to a traditional garage, yet you never have to worry about parking your car. Um, with that, we have a really wonderful lounge in what we call the level B, which is right below lobby level. And that's where the portals are located. So full Wi-Fi down there, even though you are submerged in a steel and concrete building, they have made sure that Wi-Fi is available throughout the building so that the system can work correctly. So that while you're waiting for your car, you are not disconnected. So you can continue talking with friends and whatnot while you wait for your car. Uh, it's also heated and cooled. So you are not in a cold garage space while you wait for your car. Uh, so a lot of really, really special and unique features to this parking system. If you want parking at Spire, if it is not included in the price already, uh, the price for a parking space is $75,000. At what level with the um, inclusion of, of parking are you? Is it the one bedrooms or twos? Oh, sure. Great question. So the way we have it allocated right now, if you are buying a two bedroom, a three bedroom, a penthouse, you have one included automatically. Starting on two bedrooms around 1.6 million or so and up, you have an option to purchase a second if you'd like it, but you have one included automatically. My one bedroom dens have one parking space included in the price already as well. 
Um, when you get into my one bedroom category, and I actually didn't mention this, but we have no studios, we have no open one bedrooms. Everything in this building is a traditional one bedroom or larger. Um, my one bedrooms are kind of split in half. I've got a, one of my larger one bedrooms has parking included. A couple of my larger one bedrooms have an option to purchase. And then a few of my smaller one bedrooms kind of in the 500, 600 square foot range do not have an option to purchase. Now I figured we could talk just a little bit about the residences. Um, you might recognize this picture because it's basically what you're seeing right behind me. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a photo of our full scale model that's inside the Spire sales gallery. It's an example of what we call the A as an Apple floor plan. It's one of our two bedroom, two baths on the Northwest corner of the building. The building has two color schemes. So what you're seeing in this photo is what we call the Dawn color palette. It's our lighter palette. We also have a second palette called the Dusk palette, which is a little darker, a little more modern. Uh, your floor gets stained into a little bit of a darker gray. Your cabinet, cabinetry goes a little darker. Uh, backsplash in the kitchen is darker. Um, in terms of appliances in the homes, uh, oh, well, here's, here's a good picture of the bathroom. Um, this is a master bathroom in the model. Um, we have under vanity lighting in the bathrooms, uh, quartz counters. We have um, beautiful vanities, uh, side lit for what we're learning is the best lighting rather than overhead lighting when you're working in a mirror um, with gorgeous medicine cabinets built into that area. So a lot of really wonderful storage in our bathrooms as well. Um, cabinetry was all done in a European style, uh, no hardware, no pools. Uh, all the cabinets were designed in a way that you can wrap your finger either above, below, to the side with a little lip to be able to grab your cabinets for a really nice, clean, sleek look. This is a rendering of the other two bedroom, two bath kitchen, which I showed you a picture of earlier. Um, here's where we can talk a little bit about appliances. So on virtually all floors except the penthouses, you're gonna have a Bosch suite of appliances, a hidden panel for your refrigerator, hidden panel for your dishwasher. Um, you have a under counter microwave with a top load and a really fantastic, you can kind of see it in this photo, a fantastic hood that does not take over your entire kitchen. Uh, and become the only focal point, but it is an exterior ducted, powerful exhaust hood, but hidden really lovely underneath the cabinet so it doesn't overwhelm the kitchen. Also want to point out a little bit about our ceiling heights because that's a unique feature at Spire. Um, the lowest ceiling height you will have in this building is nine foot. Uh, so all of our homes are minimum of nine foot. That's going to be true up through the 23rd floor. When you get to the 24th floor, we go to nine and a half foot ceilings. And you will have that um, going all the way up through the 37th floor. And then the 38th and 39th floors where our penthouses are, are located in some of our larger homes, those go to 10, 10 foot floors. Uh, so some really, really great ceiling heights, which again, also just open up those expansive vision glass windows and give you incredible amounts of view. Uh, this is a rendering of one of my one bedrooms. This is the F is in Frank plan, uh, about a 677 square foot one bedroom uh, that spans the southeast side of the building. Another picture of a bathroom. Some of our master baths will have shower only, some will be tub only, and some of the two bedrooms, uh, the master will have both. So it's floor plan specific uh, to try to utilize the square footage of the homes in the best way possible to meet kind of the living style of multiple different people. Not everybody cares about a huge bathroom with five pieces. Some people only want a shower. So we try to make sure our floor plans offer some different varieties. Yeah, and I think it's important also to note that, I mean, these are like high quality finishes. So it's not like you have, I mean, you have the tile all the way up and the stonework all the way up to the ceiling. Yep, um, and know. not just in the wet area, but actually yeah, around your vanity everywhere. as well. Yep. Um, you have a tiled mud pan in the shower rather than a fiberglass pan. So it's yep. really some really nice details. Uh, you also don't have, your traditional metal circular drain in the middle of the shower. It's done in a much more high-end hidden fashion so that you're not looking at an ugly drain. Yeah, it's nice. So from here, I figured we could talk just a little bit about my penthouses. They are pretty spectacular. So this is looking into one of the penthouses from outside. Uh, this is again, the Northwest corner of the building. Uh, and you can kind of see through that photo, some of my penthouses will have fireplaces. Um, they're the only homes in the building that might have fireplaces or some of the upper floor higher, um, higher end homes. Uh, you also notice finishes change on my penthouse level. 
So just to point out a few things, uh, your appliances are going to go to a Sub-Zero Wolf package uh, instead of Bosch. Uh, your cabinetry is different with um, a wood veneer. You have got uh, waterfall edges on your island. Um, some of your counters are really beautiful honed basalt. Uh, you can kind of see if you look in this photo against that window, there's actually a counter running across it. And you can see that that's kind of black. That is a beautiful black basalt stone. Another rendering for a penthouse. This is a, one of the penthouse floor plans, master bathrooms. You can again see the basalt counters in the bathroom, um, some different tile work. Um, we have um, backsplashes are a beautiful slab porcelain um, in our homes and no seams whatsoever. And for anybody who's owned a kitchen with a lot of tile work before can appreciate the idea of not having to seal a whole lot of grout in your kitchen when you move in. <laughs> And from here, I just figured we could go through what I call a few of my favorite floor plans. Um, Spire has, in general, about 10 homes per floor. Uh, so I just picked a few floor plans to point out. I mentioned this one earlier. I actually um, had a hard hat photo showing you, showing you the incredible views of the Space Needle and Lake Union. That was this plan right here, uh, one of my one bedrooms. This is on the north face. You can kind of see at the bottom, we've got the floor plate of the building. And maybe it's hard to see, but we have it shaded in where it's located in the building. Um, if you can see my cursor, I'm going around it right there. Um, really nice one bedroom plan with an island. I think a lot of times you see one bedrooms um, when you have a little bit less square footage, they sacrifice things like islands. So here at Spire, some of my one bedrooms do have islands. Some have L-shaped style kitchens to kind of cater to two different styles of living. This I showed you a rendering of as well. This is the F and Frank floor plan that sits on the southeast side of the building, uh, right around 600-ish square feet. Um, the thing I really like about this home is you are living in a one bedroom. Um, it's, you know, it's not a huge one bedroom, but it's a good size, almost 700 square feet. But what you really get is an incredible amount of glass because it is a wide home rather than a deep home. And I think um, anybody who's looked at a lot of Seattle condo real estate has probably gotten very used to the lots of buildings that have kind of the railroad style condo, I call them. Very long, very deep, but not a lot of windows. And I think that's another feature that we get from Spire with our triangular shape is we get a lot more windows and we have plans that aren't so deep uh, so that you get to take advantage of more light and more window. This is my one bedroom plus den. Um, you'll actually notice we, we call it a second bedroom and we did that on purpose. This room is large enough to be a bedroom. I think that this is that perfect floor plan for the person who maybe has friends that come and visit every once in a while, but maybe not super frequently, um, and wants some sort of a flex room that maybe could be an office and have a day bed. Uh, the room doesn't have windows, but it's got a full closet. It's an enclosed room, and it is absolutely big enough to house a bed. Uh, so we think that this is just that perfect plan to kind of transition between a one bedroom and a two bedroom. You know, if, if the million dollar, you know, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, .1 two bedroom is out of your reach, what a great kind of transitional home uh, to get you that space. Uh, this also has a really large kitchen for our cooks. That back wall in the kitchen is wonderful. Um, I also like to point out, I don't have a photo of it, but if you look just to the left of the kitchen, you see a little CL and that stands for closet, but what I want to point out is it looks a little different than your typical closet. That is actually a built-in. Um, so it's a really beautiful matching cabinetry built-in wall storage. Um, so I think that's another thing you find in condos oftentimes is it just doesn't have the storage you need. You know, where do I put those board games that we like to play? Where do I put my box of photos? Um, so several, several of our plans have these really wonderful custom built-ins uh, to provide you some extra storage. With that said, we also have storage in the building that can be purchased. Um, for an additional cost, anywhere from about 7,000 to 15,000, depending on the size of the storage unit. And what's the square footage of that floor plan? That's, that floor plan is just under 1,000, 985 square feet. So it's a really good size as well. Yeah. Um, next up, this is one of my two bedrooms and it's actually the two bedroom that I'm sitting in here in my sales office as a model. This is our Northwest corner two bedroom. So this is a very, very big view home of sound, Space Needle, Olympics, uh, really gorgeous layout. Uh, balcony right out there at the end. This is one of the two bedrooms that has the five piece master mat mm -hmm. with a separated tub and shower. And then this is, I just picked one of our penthouse plans that I like. This is what we call the AA plan. You'll actually notice it looks somewhat similar to what we just looked at, except it grows and it becomes a three bedroom 
Uh, it reworks the home just a little bit. You gain an extra bathroom. Uh, the master grows quite a bit, you'll notice, to getting a much larger master bath. This is actually the rendering we showed of that tub that was looking out over the sound. That's this home right here, that tub with those windows. Um, and then also you'll notice a nice large walk-in closet into that home too. Yep, and an ensuite, so a guest suite. Yep, ensuite, guest suite. Yep. And that wraps up my, my little PowerPoint. So it just gives, uh, gives us a chance uh, to maybe go over anything I might have forgotten or any questions that, uh, that you all have while, uh, while I was rambling on. <laughs> Great. I think you did a wonderful job just with the overview of everything. Um, wanted to talk, I guess, a little bit about who's managing the building. Oh, good question. Yes. So Spire has contracted with CWD Group. Uh, as the initial management company here at Spire. Uh, they are working really hard getting us up and running and ready to go. Um, obviously with some unique features in this building like the automated parking, uh, there's some additional work that needs to go into that and CWD is doing a great job uh, of preparing for this unique feature in the building. Um, this building is also utilizing uh, another company as a vendor that we're really excited to use called Arrive. Um, they are a company that I believe is working in a couple of other new construction buildings here in Seattle. Uh, and they are going to be our third party vendor to help all of our buyers with their homeowner orientation. Uh, they're gonna be able to help with warranty. Uh, they're going to have a portal for you to be able to log your warranty claims and have a place where you can go and, uh, and know who you can count on even when sales might be gone from the building because it's sold out or you don't have direct access to the developer anymore. Now you have a set place where you can go when you have questions about your home. Um, and then beyond that, I'm really excited that Arrive has some additional features that they offer that um, are available for cost, but I think especially for a lot of Seattle's condo owners, whether you're you know, a busy tech person who is just not home a lot, um, maybe you're an empty nester and this is a second home uh, and you're only here part-time, Arrive has packages that help you with home maintenance going forward. Um, they offer um, set price cleaning services and a lot of other things to really make life easier for you as a condo owner, uh, which I think is why a lot of people choose condo in the first place as they want that turnkey lifestyle. They want to know that things are easy. They don't want to have all the maintenance that they had with their single family home. They want, they want ease of use. Uh, so Arrive along with being a warranty manager has this continuing program to really help you maintain your home uh, and be sure that everything you should be attending to is being attended to because they're watching out for you. Nice, that sounds like a great program. Um, what about HOA dues? What do you guys um, yes. price per square foot? And so HOA dues here are working out to be about 92 cents per square foot, um, which from what I'm gathering is somewhat becoming a little bit consistent, I think, on a few different buildings around Seattle. I'm kind of hearing that number floated around a lot on a lot of high-rise buildings. So it seems that uh, that's where a lot of the buildings are falling when it comes to the expenses to, to run a building like this. Um, one thing to note, uh, because of the uniqueness of this parking system, um, there's an added benefit for those who don't have parking. Why should your homeowners dues be subsidizing the garage? And I haven't seen many buildings yet that have taken the step of pulling out some of the garage costs so that everybody is not paying for those if they don't have parking. So all of our homeowners who do have a parking space, there's a separate cost for maintenance of the automatic valet. So currently it's about $80 a month that would be added to the homeowner's dues if you have a parking space. Otherwise your dues, uh, your regular monthly dues at the 92 cents a square foot um, are meant for everything else for operation in the building. Um, things like a uh, unique feature four times a year window cleaning is what we're budgeted for currently, which uh, at least in comparison to the building I used to live in is two more times a year than what my building had. Uh, so just some really nice features. Uh, we also have a really incredible staff planned for the building. And uh, my experience in condo buildings is the best thing for resale value is a well-staffed condo building. And I think a lot of times where you see buildings make mistakes when they're trying to bring their homeowners dues down, is cutting building staff because it is your one of your biggest expenses in the homeowners association, but I also think it's one of your biggest added values. Um, Spire is scheduled to have five and a half full-time employees in the building every day. 
um, full-time concierge 24-7. Uh, your daytime concierge will be a chef concierge, which basically means they're a member of the guild. They're going to be able to get you the things you'd expect if you're in a five-star hotel. You know, hopefully they can get you into the newest restaurant in Seattle. Maybe they can help you get tickets somewhere. Um, and they'll be our daytime, but then we'll have 24-7 service outside of that. On top of that, a building manager who's on site during business hours, as well as a full-time building engineer and two and a half cleaning maintenance people every day. Good. And then the dues would include like water, sewer, garbage. Absolutely. So really the only utilities you're going to be responsible for on your own would be electricity mm -hmm. and then your choice of cable provider and internet provider for within your home. Obviously all of our common areas will have Wi-Fi provided. Um, and then speaking to, I guess, a, uh, a lot of our clients are, you know, some of them are more investment minded. Um, what is, how investment or investor friendly is the building? Oh, absolutely. Good question. Um, Spire does not have any rental cap in our homeowners CCNRs. Uh, so should the association want to do something like that, it will be up to them after they take control of the building uh, to work on implementing some sort of a rental cap if they'd like it. Um, we've really set up the rental policy to be as protective of the building as possible without going overboard. So we've ruled out things like Airbnb and VRBO vacation style rentals to make sure that our amenities are maintained, that, you know, owner's privacy and sound and things like that are, are looked after that, unfortunately, in vacation style rentals often become a problem. Um, minimum six month lease, but, but no cap on the number of investors in the building. Well, I think you pretty much covered everything that I had questions for. It was a great, well-rounded presentation. Oh, um, great. Yeah. Well, I think if there's, if there's anything I could leave you with, it would simply be just a couple of little things to get you excited about Spire. Uh, one, we are really excited to get sales into the building with some model homes we are targeting sometime mid to late April. So even while we won't start move-ins until this summer, we're gonna have an opportunity to start getting people into the building and seeing individual homes within just a couple of months. So we're really excited to be able to introduce everybody to the building. Um, and then beyond that, uh, for those who don't wanna wait all the way till April to see the home, we also are able to offer hard hat tours. Um, we're a little bit more restrictive on how those work. Uh, you must be pre-approved through one of our uh, approved lenders before we'll take you into the building. And that's just to make sure that work doesn't slow down uh, there are 200 plus contractors in the building every day. They're supposed to stop working when they see us and we want them to finish the building. So we're not taking everybody in on a hard hat tour just because they'd like to see the building. But when we get to a point of one or two top choices and you're ready to make a home selection, we'll get you into the building so you can see it. Uh, and then maybe just one little last teaser. We are working on and I'm excited to hopefully be able to share through an e-blast to our database. So if you're not on Spire Seattle yet, register on our website so you get the e-blast, but we're working on hopefully some sort of a, an exciting incentive for the month of March uh, to kind of push sales for that month until we are able to really get you into the building. Uh, we want to incentivize you to, to um, get into contract and not miss an opportunity on some of the great homes. So keep watching, uh, register on Spire Seattle, and, uh, and hopefully we'll have some really exciting news about an incentive coming soon too. Awesome. on top of the building reprice that happened at the beginning of the year, which was quite substantial. We saw, we saw some homes prices come down as much as $150,000, $200,000. Yeah, that's exciting. And, and seeing them come on the MLS, yeah, I mean, it feels like you guys definitely adjusted to the market and um, have a wonderful product. So I'm excited to, um, have, of course, have you here, but also to be able to, to come and, and tour the building when ready. Um, I think it'll be a successful building for sure. So what we'll do, and, is, go ahead. Oh, good. I was just say, and for all of the Urban Ash followers, I'm sure we could work out something where we can try to get Ash in the building. Uh, maybe she could do some videos or something to be able to share with you all as well. Yeah, thank you. Um, we'll post your contact information, again, Inspire website, just so people could easily click um, through. And then for those of you, um, this will be posted again, um, you know, throughout. So if you want to come back and, and revisit, uh, you certainly can. We'll have that new video issued uh, next week. And um, thank you, Larry. That was very a great update to the project. And again, very excited to have, have Spire um, come into market soon. Well, we're happy to be here. And, uh, and thank you, everybody, for, for allowing me the time. We'd love to see you. Perfect. We well, have a great day. Thank Thanks you so everyone. much. Thanks, everyone.